name is Scott Kalisak, and I'm here to show you the double bass. The double bass was created in the mid-1500s in Italy to serve as a lower voice for the string family. It used to have three strings, but now we have four strings made of wound steel. The lowest string is E, then you have A, then D, then G. The double bass can come in different sizes. So if you are smaller, you can have a smaller size bass. And then as you grow up, you can keep sizing up until you get to a full size bass. The parts of the bass include the scroll, the tuning pegs, the neck with the fingerboard and the strings. Then you have the big wooden body. This piece of wood right here is called the bridge. And up here is the nut. They support the strings so they can vibrate. Down here is the tail piece. And then you have the end pin, which is on the bottom and you can change the length of it uh, so that you can have the bass comfortably sit next to you. You can play the bass in almost any sort of musical setting, including with orchestras, jazz bands, film scores, bluegrass, Broadway, and anywhere else. You use two different kinds of playing with the bass. One is called pizzicato, where you use your fingers to pluck the strings, mostly used in jazz and some other settings as well. The other way to play bass is by playing with the bow. This is called bowing and arco in the music. You should play the double bass because it is the biggest and lowest instrument. You can play the bass in any type of musical ensemble. People always need bass players. There is always a gig to be had, and it's fun and cool.